done for me. Thank you, Lord, for one well, Matt here again with uh, Home Farm Ideas and. Since things are starting to boom here in my aquaponic garden, um, the plants are taking up the nutrients really well. Everything's been gro growing really, really, really good, actually, the best that I've ever had. Um, I started to notice something. Um, it's actually a nutrient deficiency in my system, once again. But it's di a little different this time, because I'm able to test the, um, the iron levels in my system with uh, my Hanna Instruments iron checker. I did some videos on that. Um, I'll try to link that in the, the, the description or I'll try to link it in the uh, last part of the, the end card of the video. Um, but anyway, I'm able to test the iron and then um, I'm also able to basically raise and lower the pH to where I need it and I check my uh, pH and my pH is fine. It's at 6.6 .6 to 6.7, which is the sweet spot in my opinion. And then um, that only left me with one other, one other issue that it could be is I don't have enough fish for the amount of growth I'm getting. Um, basically the plants are eating up the nitrates. So I check the nitrates and sure enough, the nitrates are pretty dang low. So I wanna show you that and I'll show you some of the deficiencies. And then I also wanna tell you what I'm gonna do about it or try to do about it. So. Let's get to it. Okay, like I said, I already checked my iron, and then I already checked my um, pH. Both of those were perfect, spot on. Um, that only leaves me with this now, okay? So this is my nitrate levels. So you see how it's pretty close to zero ppm? A little closer to 5.0. That's a little too low. And I'm noticing slight issues. So let me show you those issues, and then I'll show you what to do about it. But yeah, I mean, my nitrate levels are definitely low. I used to have them at 80 parts per million, and once I got my pH in order, growth started happening, it started dropping drastically. And I have fish, but I think I don't have, I think I probably have enough fish, but I, they're not big enough. So they're not producing enough waste. So there's a few things you can do, but let me show you the deficiencies first. All right, these are my shallots, and they look pretty healthy. I mean, onions and shallots, their stuff's always hanging everywhere anyways. But if you look at their leaves, there's a couple things. See that right there? And on the tip, the yellowing, okay? That could be a nitrogen or uh, an iron deficiency, um, but remember, I already checked for iron, so the iron is good. Iron level should be at about 3.0 for aquaponics. So see, here's another one, okay? The yellowing of the leaves like that. So that's in onions or shallots, okay? Also, the leaves, I don't, you would, probably wouldn't notice this with your naked eye on the video, but the leaves were a darker green. They were like a really dark green, and now they're starting to turn like a lighter yellow. And I'm starting to get, see the yellowing tips? See that? Okay, so that's on the shallots. Now I know these strawberries are looking pretty pimp, but the only thing is, is that look, see that? Like the purpling in the leaves right there, they're, and then they're dying off, okay? Another indication. Plus the fruit of the strawberry, it's not really, it's not really turning into like a good looking strawberry, it's turning into an, an ugly looking strawberry. So those are my strawberries. This is my, um, so, not cilantro, my celery. And I don't see any real deficiencies other than the leaves are starting to look a little yellower. Um, not crazy, but it's gonna start turning that, that bad color. These are my carrots, and they were perked up and really tall. I think they're around harvest time though, so I don't think I'm, I'm gonna get too much growth. But there's also thinning of the leaves, okay? I couldn't even see in here. And now I'm noticing all these leaves are just kinda shriveling up. But I couldn't even see through this. It was so thick. And this is just days ago. So that means it's taken a pretty drastic dive here. Okay. So this is my carrots, my aquaponic system. Okay. And that's crazy. That's a lot of growth. So carrots and these celery. are my leeks. Same thing with the tips on these. If you look here, see the yellowing? This is a nitrogen defi deficiency. And it's actually predictable, which is awesome, because now I know. 
Um, one other thing I did want to point out with the carrots is here's another telltale sign because I just noticed it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. Make sure you're watching this in HD. Let's see. Can you see that? Come on, stupid leaves. There we go. Okay. See? <laughs> All right, there we go. See the purpling? That's definitely a sign of either nitrogen or iron. And pH just means that your iron can't be, uh, your iron's not being taken up by the plants if your pH is too high. So I got my pH perfect for it. So leaks again, yellowing of the leaves. They're not like a dark color and they, they've seemed to slow on their growth. So that's all that. So what do you do about it? That's kind of the real question, right? Number one, you can get more fish. Um, they're gonna cost more when you buy bigger fish, but you can definitely do that. You can get more fish. You can also up their feed. I feed mine organic fish pellets, organic food, and I was just giving them one cat full a day. And look, you can see them, they'll come up. See? I was only giving them one cat full a day, but now I'm gonna start giving them two, uh, one in the morning and one at night, and see how that will do with my nitrogen, if it'll up the nitrogen. Um, so that's one thing I can do, but I think I'm gonna have to do multiple things. So number one, you can up your feed and you can add more fish. Number two is you can thin your harvest or thin your plants like these leeks here. See all these? They're just, they're just densely packed in here. I just planted them that way because I wanted to see how they would go. But now what I'm thinking is, is every time I pull one out, that's one less, right? Which means less nutrients they're gonna be eating. So I can thin these. I can thin these back. I've already thinned the shallots. I can take out redundancy in my in my system. So these are all just uh, um, succulent cactus that I'm growing in here. So I can take those out, and I can actually harvest my carrots. So harvest, thin, take out redundancy. Another thing you can do, which I'm not really into it myself. <laughs> is uh, you can actually urinate in the system which will give you an ammonia spike and your nitrate or your uh, <clears throat> your bacteria will break it down into nitrates and it'll be like a quick boost of uh, nitrates so that's another thing you can do so I guess that would be number three you can piss in your system. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it though, but Peponics, look it up. It's real. All right, last and then certainly not least, algae. You can cut back on algae by covering your tanks because algae or algae blooms in your water column will actually really eat into your nitri or nitrate levels. So as you can see, there's nothing really growing on mine, on my tanks, because I have them covered. Okay, the inside tank here, that's above the water line. So nothing to get at it. See, but there's nothing in here really, okay? Uh, this barrel does have a little growing on the sides because the sun hits it still, and I haven't been able to cover it up, but it's not, it's not crazy, comparatively speaking, to the entire system, okay? So, and it's just growing on the side, so it's not a bloom, so that's that's good. And I have stuff in there that can eat that over time, so I'm, I'm not gonna go that way. Um, but you guys need to pay attention to that. Um, algae blooms in your water will eat up your nitrates super fast, and growing too much of it on the side of your tanks can affect it as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna up their feeding. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. Because I don't want to add too many fish right off the bat because then you can have the exact opposite. You can have huge nitrate levels and then you're going to have to get rid of a fish, you know. So I'd rather get rid of plants than fish because I can keep growing the plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up their feeding, number one. I'm going to um, thin the rows of those sh uh, the, the leeks. I'm going to thin, thin the rows of the leeks. I'm going to harvest where I can harvest. I think I'm going to harvest all the carrots and I'm gonna take out the redundancies um, in my system. So the 
uh, succulents. I'm going to take those out of the system. I just Those were experiments. I just wanted to see if it would actually work. And uh, you can definitely grow succulents in an aquaponic system. Um, so, I'll, like I said, I'm going to thin the rows. I'm going to probably harvest mostly all the carrots. And I'm going to replant other plants right away. I already did, actually. You just didn't see them because I wasn't focused in on them. But I already planted a lot of other seeds like tomato plants and stuff like that. Um, which I know are going to eat up my nitrates. So I'm going to, hopefully the feeding, the overfeeding them will help. You don't want, wait, I shouldn't have said overfeeding. You don't want to overfeed. You want to just feed them just enough to where they're going to eat it. And then when they're completely stuffed and they won't eat anymore, then stop feeding them. So I'm going to do that in the mornings and I'm going to do that in the evenings until they're stuffed. So I'm going to have big old fat fish, but they're going to be producing big old fat turds, which means big old fat veggies and back on track. So I have a lot of water uh, or a lot of grow beds that I have now. So I'm going to have to figure this out because it's going to cause a problem over time. So anyways, hopefully that video was helpful. You guys, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button wherever it is and um, say hi, you know, say hi down there and, and um, if you guys have any questions about aquaponics or anything like that, um, hit me up and I'll do my best to answer it. I'm learning with you guys. So, um, so yeah. All right. Anyway, God bless you guys. And like always, peace.